Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Wear FTP Server. This app sets up an FTP server on your watch so that you can connect to it using an FTP client like FileZilla. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Wear FTP Server and give it permission to access the files on my Pixel Watch here. Firstly, on my phone, let's open Freepok Downloader and Here's where FTP server and tap OK. And let's install. And success. Now we need to allow Wear FTP Server to access files on the watch. Unfortunately, there's no user available permission to do this, so we'll use Wear Installer 2. Firstly, let's do some setup on the watch. So let's go to Settings, Developer Options. If you don't have this on your watch, just Google how to do it. It's very straightforward. And I recommend that you connect your watch to a charger and turn on stay awake when charging, as I've done here. Turn on ADB debugging and turn on wireless debugging. Now let's open Wear Installer 2. And if you haven't used the app before, there's some explanation here about how everything works and a video you can watch, but let's tap OK. And the first thing we need to do is make sure that the IP address of the watch is in the space provided on the home screen. So you can see the IP address is 192.168.1.222, and that's the IP address that I've put here, and we can tap Done. Now we need to pair the phone and the watch over EDB. So pair new device and on the phone, pair with watch. And once again, there's some explanation here if you haven't done this before, but let's just tap enable. And there's a space here for the pairing code and the pairing port. So the pairing code is eight, four, one, three, one, five, and then a space, and then the pairing port, which is shown after the IP address. So that's 36907, 36907, done. Attempting to pair and successfully paired. One last thing to do is to enter the port number here, in the space provided. This is different from the port number we used for pairing. And three, seven, nine, four, five, and done. Now we're going to go to the menu and third party apps permissions and where FTP server and the watch and phone are connected over ADB, and we're going to send the command which gives the watch permission to access files. So we're done here. Let's turn off wireless debugging. Let's turn off ADB debugging. And we don't need stay awake when charging anymore. So in another video, I show how to use Wear FTP Server to quickly and easily transfer files to and from your watch. I've included a link to that video below. You can find Wear FTP Server, Freepok Downloader, and Wear Installer 2 at my Freepok website, and I've included a link in the notes below. That's about it for now. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.